same violence as another kind of violence. What's good, YouTube? It's the Black Gen Z Mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get into the video. Well, Houston police are still searching for the person who shot and killed an 11-year-old boy. Darius DJ Dugas was gunned down last Thursday outside of his Northeast Harris County apartment. A vigil honoring his life just wrapped up. Zach Tawatari now joining us live at Cobb 6th grade campus on Uvalde with this story. 6th grader shot and killed. Thank you, Communita. Thanks for the no snitch policy as well. Because, uh, I mean, how are we going to get justice for this little boy with the street codes in play? It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Zach. That's right, Xavier. We are here at Cobb 6th grade campus outside of where... DJ Darius went to school. The outpouring of love and support from the community today was absolutely incredible. Hundreds of people gathering, wearing and showing their love to release balloons for the boy that everyone described as caring and full of life. It's been just over a week since he was senselessly gunned down at that apartment complex on Tidwell, where police say he may have been going to get something out of the car when he was shot. Wow. Just going back to the car to grab something. Can't even do that. No KKK, white supremacists, um, radical Trump supporters in sight. Nobody. Nobody who <laughs> ransacked the Capitol, the Capitol rioters. None, none of them in sight. Just super gremlins on demon time. DJ's mom, Bernetta Francis, spoke to us about the outpouring of warmth from the community. I know his family loved him and the people I saw on a regular basis loved him, but just to know how many lives that he touched when I wasn't around. Um, they're playing hip hop music at his visual. Probably music that glorifies the same activity that, that that got this young man killed. I will never understand it. Why can't we have no jazz playing, no blues? Blues would be the most appropriate. I don't see no tears out of nobody. I mean, the community is just, it's so perplexing. Listen to the 808s, guys. Just really means a lot to me, and like I say, I, I'm hurt because I'm gonna miss him. But uh, it was a lot of love for him. At this time, no suspects have been named and no arrests have been made. Police also have not mentioned a possible motive. The family has set up a GoFundMe to help pay for funeral expenses. You can find more details on that at our website, khou.com. Xavier. Or today, friends and family gathered to honor Darius Dugas, known as DJ. The 11-year-old was shot and killed, and more than a week later, still no arrests. KPRC 2's Bill Barajas live now, and Bill, you spoke with DJ's mom today. I did, and while she was uh, grieving, she was uh, strong today. She tells us what keeps her going is the fact that her son, DJ, had such a positive impact on those around him. It was a celebration of life. With it came a some Guys, y'all know how I feel about these damn balloon releases. Lord have mercy. ...of peace. Bernita Francis, DJ's mother, says the outpouring of love and support helps with the grieving process. He was loved. He was loved. So that's why, you know, I have my, my moments, but I try to stay strong because when he was here, he was happy and... He just left an impact, a positive impact on people. DJ is remembered for his million dollar smile. It's okay. Schoolmate Denisha Reeves tells us it's what she looked forward to in between classes. He was always happy. <laughs> and I look forward to seeing that every day, 
Francis knows life without it will be tough, but tried keeping it all in perspective. My baby, he's no longer suffering and having to worry about the things that we do. What? Sister, I, I don't think that's the right perspective. I don't think that's the right perspective. To me, that's a selfish outlook. I'm not saying that she's selfish. But to say that, oh, they're no longer suffering. No, this young man wanted to be here. Like you said, he had love. He had family. He had friends. He loved life and he deserved to have as much of it as possible. He's no longer suffering. I just can't get behind that as if having the life that he lived in. And, you know, we saw his big smile look like a happy kid. That boy wasn't suffering. He wanted more life. Oh, but I'm so I'm going to miss him. He's going to be missed. But in that 11 years time. It's just, it has, has a bigger purpose. DJ was shot and killed outside the family's apartment over a week ago as he went out to grab a few items from the car. Francis believes the person responsible was trying to rob him at the time of the shooting. What? This dude was trying to rob an 11-year-old boy. What was you going to rob him for? What was you going to rob him for? Some bubble gum? His homework? His his school jacket? Well, I mean These super gremlins, I'm telling you, they have no mind. You're trying to rob an 11-year-old boy with nothing to his name. Like, super gremlins just don't understand economics at all. The suspect remains on the run. Hopefully it will touch the hearts of some, you know, young, you know, younger generation. So, well, nobody else's family has to endure this. Hey, we're here at Cobb's sixth grade campus, and you can still see the balloons right here behind me that linger after the vigil. Now, family specifically asked people to bring green and orange balloons, again, orange, representing gun violence awareness. Now, families, teachers. You mean super gremlin violence awareness? I mean, let's, I, I cannot stand the gun violence, gun violence, gun violence. No, super gremlin violence is what it is. Let's let's call it what it is and then we can move forward from there. And also students were out here today for that vigil and balloon release. Now many of Darius's friend called him DJ, but his mother Bernetta Francis told me she called her 11 year old son King Darius and that he played here at the band at his school and was also a member of the school's gentlemen's club. He was also uh, very active in extracurricular activities. So he had a lot of friends, a lot of students and teachers out here supporting their family. Francis said she was overwhelmed by all the support today and that was also shown for her son and their family as they tried to deal with this tragedy. Now, it's only been nine days since Darius went to his mother's vehicle to get his things that he had left behind and was shot multiple times at their East Harris County apartment complex. Now, Harris County deputies believe the shooter is a teenager, but that person has not been named or arrested yet. This week, also, Harris County constables donated $5,000 to help the family with funeral expenses. Y'all heard that. The shooter is a teenager. Kids killing kids. He was loved. He was loved. So that's why, you know, I have my, my moments, but I try to stay strong because when he was here, he was happy and he just left an impact, a positive impact on people. Again, investigators are still trying to make arrest in this case. That's why they're asking anyone with information to give a call to Harris County Sheriff's Office. Reporting live, Roxy Bustamante, ABC 13. Y'all know the community don't do that. No snitching law goes into effect right when those balloons go up in the air. Teen Eyewitness News. Gang violence and other kind of violence.
what it is.